Okay, guys, let us look at question three from November 2022, Physical Sciences Paper 2. Without any waste of time, let us tackle this question. Now, question three, it says 3.1, the melting points of some organic compounds are given in the table below. All right, let us look at our table now. We need to interrogate this table. We have compound A, which is propanone. Compound B is butanone. If you look at prop and but, you can see that we have increased what here? The carbon. So the carbon chain or the carbon length has been increased. When we go to C, we have pentan 2 on or pentan 2 1. We have increased another carbon again. If we come here to D, we have 3 methyl butanone. 3 methyl butanone will have the same number of carbons as what? As pentan 2 on. We are given the melting points this side from negative 95,4, negative 86,9, negative 77,8, and then negative 92. Don't forget that this is negative, so you can't come and say this is the highest melting point. But 70 what? 70 is negative 77,8 should be the highest what? Melting point. So what you can do here as well, you can come and say from these melting points, you can say this is the highest and then the second highest and then three is this one and then number four will be this one here. That's what you can do. All right, let us go to 3.1.1. It says to which homologous series, which or to which homologous series do the above compounds belong? So we look at the ending here, we can see it's one, others say one. We know that it is a what? It is a ketone. So our answer here is what is a ketone? Right, because of the ending there, it is a what? It is a ketone. That is our answer there. Now 3.1.2, the melting points of compounds A, B, C and C are compared. Now, they are comparing A, B, and C. What is 3.12 asking from us? Write down the controlled variable for this comparison. Now, the control variable here, we need to go back to our table. We can see that from A to what? To C, A to C, in fact, A to C, what do we have there? We have... A to C, what do we have? We have ketones. These are ketones. So what they have done here, what is control, what did not change? It is the functional group. So we can come and write here that what is not changed, it is the what? It is the functional group. It is the functional group. Functional group, it is not change. Or you can even say it is the homologous series. The homologous series. It is not change as well. The homologous series. It is not changed. So if they say control in the exam, control variable, they are looking for the one that does not change. Does not change. Okay. Let us move to the next question. Now, the melting points, the melting points of compound C and D, melting point of compound C and D, let us go check now. Compound C is pentan 2 on, pentan 2 on. So compound C, it is what? It is pentan 2 on or 1. All right, what about compound D? Compound D, what do we have here? Compound D, we have 3 methyl butanone. 3 methyl butanone. So, compound D, we have 3 methyl, in fact, there's a dash here, methyl butanone. Okay. These are ketones now, butanone. What are we asked to do here? We must fully explain the difference in the what? In the melting points of these two compounds, okay? Let us go check now, how do we then uh, explain the difference in the melting points? The difference in the melting points. And you can see that these two, 
they have two different what melting points one is negative 77 and the other one is negative what 92 so we can use compound C to explain the first thing you do you must compare we need to compare here so we can say that let us look at pentan let us look at pentan pentan 2 1 what do we know about pentan 2 1 the first point that we have it has a longer chain it has a longer chain it has a longer chain all right others can say less branched or less compact or less spherical others can even say it is a what a larger surface area you are also allowed to write that larger surface area larger surface area what do we know about larger surface area the longer the chain or the larger the surface area the stronger the intermolecular forces so therefore second one we have a stronger intermolecular forces intermolecular forces okay so we have in strong intermolecular forces what does it mean now about energy so we can say that it requires more energy so we can say more energy more energy is needed or needed to do what to overcome the intermolecular forces to overcome the what the intermolecular forces i can say i m f and therefore now the last one you must conclude after you have said everything that it is a longer chain stronger intermolecular forces more energy needed or required to overcome the imf hence it has a what it has a, a higher a higher what a higher melting point don't forget that we are talking about melting point here so you can come and say what boiling point so that's how you get your full four marks you must speak about the what the longer chain the stronger intermolecular forces more energy and then higher melting point that's how you get your four marks let us move to the next question in fact before we can even move what I normally tell my learners here is that you can use the ICE method. You can use the ICE method. You must first identify, you then compare, and then speak about what energy. We have identified the longer chain. We have compared the two. We know that the longer the chain, the stronger the intermolecular forces. We also spoke about what? We spoke about energy. So the ICE method can be used here. Let's move to the next question. 3.2. 3.2 the table below shows the results obtained from an experiment to determine the vapor pressure of different what straight chain primary alcohols what do we need to know now is this vapor pressure vapor pressure is what is inversely proportional to what to the melting point that we need to know or we can even say to the boiling point vapor pressure and boiling point are inversely what proportional the higher the vapor pressure the what the lower the boiling point let us look at what we have here we have ch3oh we can even name this we have what here we have methanol we have ethanol we have propanol we have butanol we have pentanol and we have hexanol so you can see now this one has a longer chain but the vapor pressure is low why because the higher the melting point the lower the what the vapor pressure let us then move after we are done with interrogating the what our table here we go to 3.2.1 3.2.1 with 3.2.1 we are tasked to define vapor pressure for two marks how do we then define this one here you must know that vapor pressure is the pressure it is the pressure which is exerted a pressure which is exerted a pressure let me just fix that which is exerted 
exerted by a vapor by a vapor by a vapor at what at equilibrium at equilibrium at equilibrium with its liquid in a closed system with its liquid in a closed system in a closed system okay that's how you define vapor pressure the pressure exerted by a vapor at equilibrium with its liquid in a what in a closed system that's how you get your full two marks let us go to the next question now it says write down the suitable conclusion write down the suitable conclusion for what for this investigation what can we say now we have then identified that as i am increasing in the chain length the vapor pressure decreases i'm not sure if you can see that because this is c there's one carbon two carbons three carbons four five and six so i am increasing in the chain length but what happens to the vapor pressure it decreases as you can see that now the answer for 3.2.2 since we are asked to write down the suitable conclusion for this investigation it will be the vapor pressure the vapor pressure what did we notice about the vapor pressure is that it is decreasing or decreases with what with an increase in what an increase in the chain length an increase in the chain length others can even say an increase in the what in the number of carbon atoms you are also allowed here to use the the opposite of what i've written here you can say that the vapor pressure increases vapor pressure increases with what with a decrease in the number of what of c atoms with with a decrease in what a decrease in number in number of what of c atoms or you can say chain length why is it that is because the longer the chain right the higher the melting point and the lower the what the vapor pressure let us go to 3.2.3 here we are tasked to do what to write down the iupac name of the alcohol with the highest boiling point let us go to our table now and see which alcohol has the highest boiling point remember now that we are not given boiling point but we are given what vapor pressure and i told you that vapor pressure is what is inversely proportional to what to boiling point so meaning that the alcohol that has the lowest vapor pressure must have the what the highest boiling point and if i look here 0, 0, 0,0,0,124 has the highest boiling point so hbp there so what is the name of this we have C6H13OH, C6H13OH, so C6H13 and then what, and then OH here. We can draw this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. On the sixth one we have OH, we can start counting now 1, 2, 3, 4, we have 5, six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen that's what we have there then how do we then name this one this is number one two three four five six we always start counting from nearest to the word functional group so this is what this is six now one two three four five six 
this will become hexan. In fact, let me fix my x there. This is hex. This is hex. Zan. And then number one, we have what we have there? The alcohol. Forgot to put one there. We have the alcohol one and then all. That's how you get your what you get your three marks there. That's how you get your three marks in this question. 3.2.4, the experiment is now repeated at 320. We have increased temperature now. Will the vapor pressure of each compound increase or what or, or decrease? So meaning that what do we need here? We need to know what has been done. They've repeated this at what? At 320. Let us check first whether the temperature was increased or decreased. Let us move it. Let us look at this. It was 300 now. Now we have increased what? Increased the temperature. So the temperature, if it increases, even the vapor pressure will do what? Will increase. So our answer here is what is in increase. You get a mark there because our temperature was increased. All right, grade 12. So this is how you should have answered three. In fact, not even three, but question three.